Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. As well. So the point is, the point is that I'm me, I am self-motivated. I speak what I'm convinced about. That's all. I speak what I've seen, what I've heard. And right now, I am challenging him. If it is not true that he has an agenda to prosecute President Ed Galungu, let him issue a statement. He's a president. He has got his spokesperson, Anthony Gualia, who is doing very little at least he can make him useful by issuing a statement that he's not prosecuting, he's not fighting to prosecute, he, hasn't, he doesn't have an agenda to prosecute Edgar Lungu. Let him respond. Umaiche Anton is doing nothing, he's really doing nothing. He can be useful, let him issue a statement. We have got Wakasanda. Eh? She's busy, you know, with her husband looking into the fertilizer issue. But I'm sure she can do this. Don't respond to me by insulting me. Don't respond to me by sending police officers to me. Uh-uh. That is not the way we do it in politics. In politics, I come up with something, come out with the, the different view. That is politics. To say, no, no, this is what, no, you are saying this, but this is our position. But as far as I'm concerned, I have got reliable information that Vahaka Inde Ichilema has started a process to remove the immunity of Vahed Galungu with the intention of making, you know, to verify him so that people can hate him. His jealousy because he has failed to match up with what Ed Galungu did. He was every day criticizing him and so on and so forth. But he has failed to do what Ed Galungu did. And so what has he decided? He has decided to now launch an attack on Ed Galungu. He has decided to launch an attack on Ed Galungu. And everybody around Ed Galungu. This is why you saw though that boy going to swear a, an Abidavid to go and search Ed Galungu's accounts. They are not only searching accounts. They have gone everywhere. They have even gone to South Africa. They have even gone to South Africa to look for information to implicate Ed Galungu. They want to verify Ed Galungu. They want people to shift their attention from all these failures of Vahaka in the And this is why you saw people like Linda Kasonde coming out to say, no, 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 it's okay. When did, when did you last hear Linda Kassonde talking? When did you last hear Linda Kassonde talking? How come she came up and she's talking? Because this is the agenda that they have. They want to fuse it in. I don't know. I just came out to court yesterday. But by Sunday, there are people who are gathered at a named hotel, I will not mention the hotel because the hotel is innocent. I will not drag the hotel into, into politics. The hotel is innocent, they are doing business. But you can tell which hotel I'm talking about. It is a new hotel which is near a crossroads. A hotel that is near crossroads. At that hotel, as at on Sunday, there were people that were lodged in that hotel. They have built a team of a number of so-called investigators. And they have lodged them at that hotel. They are staying there. Their mission is to build a case against Ed Galungu. That is their mission. They are there. Unless otherwise, but at least on by Sunday, by Sunday, I went there. I went there. And I confirmed those people are there. 
And these people, these people, I, I want you to open your eyes. I want you to open your eyes and I want what I'm saying here. I don't want police to arrest me. I want you to respond. If I'm lying, respond if I'm lying. If there are no people there who are camped there, you should respond, deny to say, no, there are no people. There are no people. And let's see where we will go. Because at the end of the day, I may have no choice but to review the hotel and review the number of rooms. The number of rooms. I will. I want you to respond. I want. I'm not insulting you by, by HH here. I'm not insulting anyone. I'm telling you what I know. So there are people there, and these people, they are trying to put up data so that they can go and remove the immunity of Edgar Lungu. They are working on a what what you may call a prima facie case. They are building a case which Baaka in the Ichirima can take to Parliament. But this is not motivated by the fact that there is a, a Edgar Lungu is corrupt. No. It is motivated by jealousy of Baaka in the Ichirima. It is motivated by, you know, Baaka in the Ichirima trying to, trying to exonerate himself. That no, all this suffering that you are going through, it is because Edgar Lungu has stolen money. That is what he wants to do. He wants to come up with that. He said, no, 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 you are suffering. We have failed to do this. We have failed to do this because, he, because Edgar Lungu has stolen money. That is what he wants to do. That is what he wants to do. So now these people, they are working with these companies that have been these private auditing firms. They, they have looked everywhere. There is nothing. So now they have gone into the military. That's where they have gone. Into the defense. They have gone into the defense because according to them, this is where, remember the, 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 the jet that we are talking about? Remember what Vaka in the HNMA said? So he wants to come with that. But the challenge that he has is that he cannot just pick up some papers and say, no, Edgar Lungu stole this, 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 this. He has to come up with a systematic way of bringing out this information. This is how they decided to go and bring their friendly, friendly auditing firms and send them into the defense force. Ask yourselves, Ngandewe, if you are able to reason, to reason ask yourself, why did this government subcontract private auditing firms to go and audit the defense? Why? What is the agency? What has happened? Why? You, you respond to me. Why is this government going into the military at this point in time to go and do audit? What has necessitated that? Can somebody answer that? What necessitated that? What necessitated that? What is the agency? Why are those private companies going into the defense to audit? It is because President Haka Inde Ichirema has an agenda to build a case against Edgar Lungu. So those people, those, those auditors, they are working with those guys that are camped at that named hotel at Crossroad. They are going in there, collecting data. They come in the night and they sit to build a case. This is what is going on. This is what is going on. Therefore, our government, I want the, the, the minister of, of information. I want a state house to respond if you don't have this agenda tell us if you don't have this agenda tell us if there are no government officials being 
uh, being accommodated at that named hotel on Crossroad. Tell us why those private auditing firms have gone into the defense. Tell us what is the agency. Tell us what is the purpose of that audit. Tell us. If I'm lying, tell us. Don't come with wakapokola no kunjika. Respond. That is how democracy works. Respond. You didn't want me to talk about this on Sunday because you saw me. You saw me hovering around that hotel. You saw me. You, you, you picked it up that I've picked up this information and you didn't want me to talk about it. That is why State House in, instructed Siandenge and Siandenge instructed Yui and you saw what happened. You were surprised. I'm sure all of you were surprised. Why are they doing all this? They were doing all this because they didn't want me to talk about it. And they beat me up so that I can talk, I cannot talk about it. But no, sorry. You can beat me all you want. Like I told you, by you, I told you. You can beat me all you want. I would never stop. You, you were beating me and I told you. And imagine this man. Can you imagine? I mean, after he was beating me, beating me. And I was responding to him. I was standing up to him. He says, I think I have a younger. Can you imagine? Eh? A senior police officer at a Dutch college maning, Kachiramo, I think at Navinyanga. Eh? Search him. And they had to undress me. They had to undress me to check if I've got it. If I've got it. The tomb on me. I mean, and this is, I mean, this is a police, a senior police officer. He's thinking like that. You are beating up a person. And because he's able to stand against you, you think he has got Vinyanga and you start undressing me. They undressed me in that office with a number of police officers. I protested. This is, this is inhuman. You can't be undressing me. At no, once in the moon. Who, tell, who tells you that because you are a man, you must see my, 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 my thing? Eh? Who tells you that? Do you think my thing, I want just to be showing it around? Do you think just because you are a, you are a police officer, you have got a right, a right to see my thing? That is torture. That is inhuman. In, in you don't do that to a person. But I was undressed and I protested. I protested. I was undressed because this you in his mind, because I was standing up to him, he thought I've got Vinyanga. And you say, this is the man that should be director of investigation. This is, I mean, you can even imagine. I don't know what IQ is that. You are beating up a person. You are assaulting a person. He stands up to you. You think, no, he has got Vinyanga. And dress him. Let's see if he has, what he, what he has. Hmm? I don't, I don't really blame so much the junior officers. I don't blame so much the junior officers. Because they were being instructed by this man. Who thought he was invisible? No, Amdala. You are just human like me. You are just human like me. You could be anything. But as far as I'm concerned, you are just human like me. And you are a citizen like me. You are not above the law. You are not above the law. What you did was very wrong. You are so basic in your thinking. So basic. At Vinyanga. Vinyanga for what? You are undressing me Vinyanga, looking for Vinyanga. And you call yourself a senior police officer, honestly. A commissioner for that matter. So, they didn't want me to talk about this. But this is what it is and I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you and I'm giving it from my, from me. Not from anyone or whatever. From me. I went through that evidence. I went through that evidence. And what you must know is that whenever you are doing some of these things, it's not everyone who is happy. It's not everyone who is happy. Don't think that everyone hates Ed Galungu. Don't think that everyone can be bought because you have put them in a nice hotel. 
and you are busy trying to fabricate cases against Edgar Lungu, and you think everybody is, is happy. No. So some of them are not happy. And they told me, they told me that look what we are doing here, building up a case against this man. And so far we haven't found anything. But it's like we have to find something against Edgar Lungu and his, his colleagues, Mpoha, Uliasa Venda, that's a Venda man. Those are the people that you are targeting. You are targeting Mpoha, you are targeting Edgar Lungu, you are targeting Findlay, you are targeting those people. You want to link, and you want to link some of these things to those cases to say the money was coming from, from the defense. They stole money from the defense. That is what you want to do. That is a plan that you have. That is why you have brought Grand Thornton and Price Water into, into the defense. You want to find a way of bringing out this and build a case against Edgar Lungu. You respond. You respond. I'm challenging you. Respond. If what I'm saying is not true, respond. Respond, my Mukasuke, to say, no, what Tayari said is not true. We are not building up a case against Edgar Lungu. You respond. You respond if there are no people right now at whatever, a urban. Of course, I mean, I'm just saying now because yesterday... I only came out yesterday and I've not been able to go there. But at least on Sunday, I went there. On Sunday, I went there. And I confirmed this. Because when people give me information, me, I want to, I want to verify. So I go out there to verify. And I checked. And yes, I found them. And this guy told me about these things that, that are now coming out of our table. From the defense. Because of the failure of Vaka in the HLM. Vaka in the HLM has failed to rule this country. Ufi now Pua. He has lied, he has lied, he has lied. Ufi Watashani Bua Pua. He has got nothing more to lie against. So the only thing now is to go Ukuya Wushe Fide, Ukuya Wushe Mune, Ed Galungu Lele, Ukuya Mugusha, Ukuya Mubika Pa on the center. So that people can start throwing stones at him to say, hey, what if it, what if it? So that they can forget about fertilizer. So that the farmers can forget about the fertilizer. So that the youths can forget about the employment that they were promised. So that the youth, so that the youth can forget about the empowerment that they were that they were promised. But that is not the way we rule a country, Watata. Kufile katawe na filwa have failed. Can we have an early election? Can we have an early election? We can have an early elections. There are candidates. We have got people. We are not running short of people that can run Zambia. At the rate at which we are going, na inewe na I can even do better. I always look at myself to say I'm not yet ready. Indeed, I'm not ready. So some of you who say, ah, but you're also a president. Why are you supporting another president? No, 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 no. Who president Tewaku Utukila? Don't rush to become a president. That's why people fail. A lot of people just jump. No, I want to become a president. Ah, 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 ah. Take a name. President T, it's not a, a child's play. You need to be ready in many ways. Psychologically, financially, uh, experience wisdom spiritually in many ways you need to be ready presence is big so that's why you see me at the moment i'm not excited to become a president i'm not i'm not that's why i'm pushing bambi to say let others go about whatever experience and at the moment that's why i, I talk about Mundubire to say Mundubire because when i look at Mundubire, i mean he has got that maturity he has got that experience i mean of course I'm not saying others cannot be. I'm not saying others cannot be. There are so many other people that can make good presidents. Avena Kalava, Vamdala, Fred Membe. Fred Membe, come on, Vamdala, Vadavad Kwatamano, bad. Fred Membe, when I'm talking to Fred Membe, the intelligence, the experience, the wisdom, ish. 
Mkumfa kwa tindela nda na lesa ka. Nga tindela nda na Fred. Ndala li kwa tamanu. Ali kwa tamanu. Elo li kwa ta experience. Elo li kwa ta data. Bad kind. Bad kind. I respect him very much. I respect him very much. So, I am not, I am not uh, excluding others to say, I want to be I was talking to Wakambuid. Because some of you, you think that Wakambuid, you know, whatever, whatever. No, no, no. Wakambuid is my brother. Wakambuid is my brother. Whether what or what is my brother, Wakambuid. Kuti tuala kandu, whatever, whatever, is my brother. And I appreciate you, Wamdala Wakambuid. Even in the conversation that we had yesterday, Wamdala, thank you very much. Thank you. You cancelled me. You spoke a lot of good things. I'm looking forward to the, to, to, to our meeting. I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. So, the point is that we have, we have not run short of leaders. Uh -uh. We have got so many leaders that can rule this country. What you can do is to let go of the country let us have early elections. Instead of, instead of you being bitter with us, when we talk, you are arresting us. You are spoiling our democracy. You want to bring dictatorship. We cannot go to dictatorship. Zambia has never been a dictator. Namuliwa Kaunda, it was not dictatorship. Namuliwa Kaunda, the way you are brutalizing, the way you are treating us, it was not like that. So we can't have dictatorship if you have failed please let go of this country let others come and run it you can't go umuntu mwenye wa ikalila ali ikalila uli edgalungu ali ikalila ndemye bechinga ali ikalila muna ibe pa most of the times you know i when i speak to some of you these people who are close to you Hey, no, no, Ed Galung wants to come back. Ed Galung doesn't want to come back. He doesn't want to come back. He na na dile kona dile mkumu. Pye pye sha iwe, 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 iwe. I want to make fire. Eh? Mono for what? If you come back, you are the only one who can beat this man and you can... Arikana. Arikana. He told me no. He refused. He refused. Ed Galung refused. And there is no one, I can challenge anyone to stand up today and say, Ed Galungu told me to say, hey, I want to come back or whatever, whatever. He has refused. And he doesn't want to do anything with politics. So why are you dragging him? Why are you trying to use him as your escape goat? Bunkan, whoa, whoa. It's being bad-hearted. It's being bad-hearted. He's being bad-hearted. And, uh, and I get shocked with that man, the way he talks positively of the president. He has so much respect for the president. He has so much respect. And he even talks, no, no, you know, Kutnava for, you know, like, I'm like, this man, honestly, you are talking about helping this man? You are talking about helping Haka in the with the way he's treating you? But that is Ed Galungu. That is Ed Galungu. I mean, we am done and now we are. Now, I'm not going to be so far. Seriously, I don't know how God made that man, but that man is special in his own way. His heart, his softness. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know how God made him. I don't know how God made him. But anyway, that is aside. The point is, this man who is failing, who is now. Wanting to use other means to absorb his failure. To absorb his failure. He's gagging us so that we don't talk about his failures. He's gagging us so that we don't expose his plans, his evil plans. He's gagging us. He's sending people like Yui. Giving them instructions. Make sure you treat him bad. Make sure you teach him a lesson. Ndara ifo katuipa vya mdara haka indechini. Mana papa, ukatuipa apofye. Ukatuipa apofye. Elongo watuipa ya. Katuishifi katumbuka. Because you might think, ah, nga naka soti, naka nga kafu wa nisha. Uka dawa. Uka ila pwile umuliro parukasa. Uka ila pwile umuliro parukasa. Because umuro pa wamu topa ule itika. 
Mula po amu to po ule utika. Abantu tawala la fi yo. Abantu tawala la fi. Uka papa. Uka papa na bama ewa mtinta waka kwa lukida. Bama ewa mtinta waka kwa lukida. Ah ah. No 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 no. No no you just never know. Because I'm sure bama ewa mtinta na mena wala tamba kwefi. Nga ndela ndapa. Sorry mina mena wala tamba wama ewa mtinta. Ne. Pero baka mwena pati yo chufi ala mbala la. Vai pawa haka inde ichire. Ha. Eee. Mwena isanga mna nika ni mma problem mkwete kwa mwena mwena. So that is the story. That is the issue my, my brothers and sisters. That Vahaka Inde Ichirema has gone into the defense to come up with something to implicate President, former President Edgar Lungu. Now, you see Vahaka Inde Ichirema being emotional, being emotional, being bitter, he forgets something that is very, very important. Because for him, He's looking at fixing Ed Galungu. He goes and asks his friends, you know, Grant Thornton and Pricey uh, Water House Coopers. Those are his friends. He asks them, go guys, come and build a case so that I can go and fix this guy. But he has forgotten that where he has sent his friends, that, he, that place is sacrosanct. It is a shrine. It is a shrine of our country, a shrine of our security. You don't send foreigners into the defense. You don't. You don't send foreigners into the defense. You just don't do it. It's a no, 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 no. When you are going into the military, Pageti, they ask for your NRC. If you are a foreigner, you want to go in. A foreigner to go in there, he needs special permission. But because of your bitterness, you have forgotten about, you know, our secrecy, our sovereignty. Our sovereignty lies in the military. The military protects our sovereignty. That is a job of the of the of the defense. The defense, the job of a defense is to protect our country. Our sovereignty is protected by the, by the defense. But because of your bitterness, that is why you have sent foreigners now. You have sent foreigners in there. And that is why I was saying what you are doing is treasonous. What you are doing is treasonous. And if you get out of power, you can be arrested for treason. You can be arrested for treason for sending foreigners into the defense. You can be arrested. You can be arrested. But I'm sure Mundubire is a gentleman. I'm sure Mundubire is a gentleman. Mundubire would not be bitter like you. Would not waste his time to start following you. Eh? He will not for you not waste time to start following you. And I'm sure I'll be part of the next government. I'm sure. I'm sure that the next government, whether government, whether the president will be Fred Membe, whether president will be Harry Kalawa, whether president will be Sean Tembo, whether president will be a uh, Savoy Mbolera, Shalakateka. Whoever will come Sirawe, eh, even Mbidala Cosmo, even Cosmo Mumba Kuchawa, why not? Why not? But whoever is going to come, whoever is going to be president, I am going to be in that government. I am not, I am going to be in that government. That is for sure. I am going to be in that government. But in that government, I will make sure that President Haka Inde Ichirema is not roughed up President Haka Inde Ichirema is respected. I will, re, I, will, I will defend President Ichirema in that new government. I'm supporting you. 
and most likely Nach Muneka Fiech, you you might be president very soon because Vaka in the Chile Monica wa filwa and Zambians might just say ah haka in the Chile Maserako. So mutampo kui pekanya wa munduvide. Tampenu kui pekanya wa munduvide. Brand munduvide. Start preparing yourself. Because the, at the rate at which we are going, Zambians might say waka in the Chile, we are cutting your contract. We are cutting your contract and you might become president. But okay, fine. Nangu nga tu afika the point I'm trying to tell you, Amundubile, is that I know you will not leave me out of your government or whoever will be president. But one thing that I'm promising is that as much as I am hammering, as much as I am exposing Vahaka in the Ichilema, I will not stand to see Haka in the Ichilema persecuted. I will not stand it. I will defend him. The same way I defended him when he was arrested for treason. I will defend him because we need to move away from this culture of, you know, persecu persecuting former presidents. I think we need to we need to give them respect. We need to create that is an institution. That is an institution. Former president is an institution. It's part of government. We must give them the respect. That is the only way. That is the only way we are going to be respected. Atubu fumu. We chindiko win. If you don't respect yourself, others will not respect you. If we are not going to respect our former leaders or our leaders, others will not respect our leaders. So, waka in the yes, I am saying waka in the filwa. And we should have early elections. This is what I'm saying. But in gawa fumapo. We must respect him. Even if he has ruled only for one year, Bamdala, we must respect him. He's our seventh president. We cannot take away that from him. So I will defend him. So whoever is going to be in power, we are going to, to make sure that Haka Inde Ichinema is protected. If Haka Inde Ichinema is not protected, I will resign. Me, I will resign. If we don't hold on to whatever we promise, whatever we tell people, in a Kutsa resign. I will not be like Vaka in the Ichinema. He makes promises and he doesn't fulfill them. And when he fails, he's making excuses. He's even taking people to offer them as sacrificial lambs. That is not the way it's supposed to be. So, now the issue is you have made a big mistake. You have made a big mistake. A mistake which you must rescind. I don't know how far you have gone. But you must rescind. I don't know how you are going to do it. But you, you must rescind. This decision of keeping those foreigners in the, in the defense. That decision must be rescinded. And you Zambians, including you, press singers. Please. You love Haka in the Ichirema, which is okay. It is your democratic right. It's okay to love Haka in the Ichirema. That's fine with you. We have got different preferences. You know, just like others. That's fine. That's okay. We have got different preferences. But on such matters, this is a national issue. Zambians, in, in spite of whoever you support, in spite of whoever, whichever political party or pre or leader you support, on this one, Zambians, I'm saying, na papata, can we all unite and tell Waka in the to remove those foreigners, to remove those foreigners from the defense. We cannot have foreigners, you know, looking at our secrets. We are compromising our sovereignty. We are compromising our sovereignty. We can't go on with that one. Now, Papa, the Zambians on this one, can we tell, can we speak the loudest? Can we speak the loudest so that we tell Baka in the Ichirema that they should remove those foreigners in, in the defense? I know Nganimu Parliament 
you could hear wa mayo wana mango standing up and saying no price water kupasi and the grand thornton yes it is a foreign company but the people who are working are zambians because wa mayo wana mango sometimes those are the kind of answers that she gives look if you are working for an international company you could be a zambian but you have to protect the interest of that in that company of that international company when you are working it is as good as when you work for south african embassy eh? i can talk about south africa because they are my friends if you are if you are a zambian working in the south african embassy when you enter there you have to operate as a south african you protect south african interest you don't protect zambian interest you protect south african interest so it's the same thing those people who are working for Grand Thornton and the PWC, those, those Zambians, much as they may be Zambians, they are serving an interest of this international company, which, which holds its headquarters in, in Europe. So they are not Zambians. You can't say no, they are Zambians. No. They are collecting information, whatever information that they collect, it at the end of the day, it goes to their force headquarters. That's why it goes. It goes outside the country. And that, my brothers and sisters, don't think it is easy. It is very serious. In the defense, it is very, very serious. Very serious. You may not realize, because when you are hearing auditing, auditing, ah, no, they are just auditing. You need to realize what information they have access to when people are auditing you know what they what information they look for they get all the information you can't you can't say this is an auditor and you you prevent them from seeing certain things no then you'll be jeopardizing the, the, the audit you give them all the information they check how much money comes in. They check how much money comes in and where that money comes from. So as auditors, they will know where our defense gets all the money and how much. They will know. From there, they will know where the money is spent. So there is no secret. When you're talking about we want to know where the money goes, there is no secret. To say, no, 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 we can't tell you. Uh, uh, there is this uh, two million. No, we can't tell you what we bought. No. If you say, no, we bought guns. They will ask you how many guns. No, they, we bought 400 guns, AK-47s. They will say, let's go and see them. You can't say, no, no, they are at our bank. Or you can't go there. They will say, maybe you didn't buy. That's what they will say. If you say, no, 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 we can't see the guns. I mean, how are we going to prove that you bought the guns? Can we go down to your bankers? Can we go down to your bankers? They will go down where we hide our arsenals. Where we hide our guns, they will have to go down there. Oh, Peter, oh, Peter, oh, Peter, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. They will go there. And they look, oh yeah, these are the guns. Eh? Okay, so these are the guns that you bought. If we bought bombs, for example, because it's part of defense, it's part of arsenal, bombs, countries are bombs. If we bought bombs, those auditors, those foreigners, they will ask, ah, what about these five million? No, we bought bombs. Oh, you bought bombs from where? No, we bought bombs from Russia. Where are they? They will have to go down wherever you have hidden those bombs to go and see those bombs. They will have to see the bombs. Oh, so these are the bombs. Oh, how many are they? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so as Zambia, you have ten bombs. Eh? Okay. And they are writing. They are writing. 
Oh no, what else? Uh, what else did you buy? Oh no, we bought a machine. This machine, it, it helps us to listen what other countries are, are discussing. These are part of things that happen in the defense. Eh? Countries listen to other countries' conversations. How are they going to intercept, you know, attacks? How are they going to intercept attacks if they don't listen? Countries collect intelligence information. They collect intelligence information from other countries. When other countries are talking, there are machines that they intercept to listen what is currently going on. Who is planning to attack us? This happens in countries. And it is a secret. But those machines, they are bought with government money. And when you send an auditor, an auditor will ask, where is that machine? Which type of machine do you have? Or oh, it is it is Intel, or it is Samsung. And when they collect this kind of information, when they collect this kind of information, this information can be very good information to sell to other countries. Because if you have, a, let's say, a machine that intercepts signals, those machines, it's very difficult. I'm speaking as an IT, for example, as an IT person. To break the codes, to, to hack into that machine, it is difficult to get it if you don't know the, 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 the brand name. If you don't know the brand name. But in Gawaiish, but oh, it is an, a Samsung. Or oh, it is it is it is an iPhone. If you know, then you know where to start. Then it's easy. You just go and see the architecture of that of that of that brand, and you can be able to dismantle the codes, and you can get in. This is what Waaka in the is exposing us to, and that's why I'm saying it's treason. It's treason. You don't do that. You don't do that. You can't do that. But when you are crowded by emotions, when you are just thinking of fixing others, you, you don't think about these things. Ngatuaevati, job on training, apprentice. Can I show we know how to take a child, how to how to rule a country? You make such grave mistakes. This is a grave mistake. It's a grave mistake, big mistake. You just don't do that. You don't. You can't. How? I just can't believe it. I can't. I can't believe it. But this is a situation, my brothers and sisters. This is a situation. This is what we are dealing with. This is what we are dealing with. Baka in the doesn't seem to know these things. He is crowded by his emotions. And that's why I'm saying, Baka in the if you remove emotions from your presidency, you can have a chance of leading this country better. And you can make some of us keep quiet. I am talking about this because of your emotions. I'm talking here because of your failures. If Baka in the Ichirema, you were not failing, you would be too busy counting out your promises. But because you have failed, you don't even know where to touch. That's why you have got so much time to be engaging Navenasi and Dengue, to be dealing with Chirufia Tayari. How can the president, the entire president of a country, be busy on Chirufa Tayari? Busy per get now we can two hours. Two hours now we can per get. Eh? Because you don't have anything to do. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to invest that human resource. That is a sheer waste of resources. Share waste of resources. All because of emotions. All because of failure. All because of 
insecurity, fear is going to expose me. If you are doing the right thing, when I say I'm going live, live for 20 hours, you would be happy with Aka in the HDM. You would be happy. You would be happy. You would, you, you would tell my mom, Tinta, please make a cup of tea. Tayari is going to go live. And you'll be watching comfortably, enjoying with a cup of tea. Because I'll be talking about good things about you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If you do the right thing, so I will be coming live to, to praise you. To praise you. And you watch this with an easy heart. Relaxed, enjoying as I'm talking. But now each time you hear 20 hours. Yes, Yamengi, come on. Hey, hey, Mwambo Kula Utauka. Why? Nishimle Utauka. Is it because of me? It is because of your failure. That is why you are under pressure. Those of you are saying, no, stop fighting the government. Hey, turn down. Turn down if you see Vale Rufiana turn down. I will not turn down when they are messing up. I will not turn down. No, I won't. I will turn down if they are doing the right thing. I will turn down. And if anything, I will not turn down because you know, I will come out and 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 praise you. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. This talking I'm doing, I will come here and praise you. That's what I'll do. If you are doing the right thing, but how can I come and praise you? Mulai Gishama foreigners. Multi fence, you are exposing our, our 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 security. You are compromising our sovereignty. People are going to know what we have, whether we are rich, you know, militarily. And the country, the powerfulness of the country is in the in the capacity of its military. A country is feared based on what is the capacity of the military. That is important information that any country wants to have and any country wants to protect so they want to they want to guard that because in Gawai Shiva if people know know our capacity I mean about Zambia there is nothing there let's just cut copper belt yeah copper belt let's have it but Congo they will get it let's just get Congo they can't do anything. They can't fight. Ah, why are you saying they can't fight? Ah, you. We got information. They have got two missile launchers, whatever, whatever. They don't have and missiles. They don't have what, what. So, ah, they can't do anything. That's what you're doing. You're exposing it. And you want me to keep quiet? You want me to sober down? What am I going to sober down? How can I sober down? I've got foreigners compromising my country. Where will I be? Where will I go? I want to be president in next 10 years, 10, 15 years, I want to be president. Now, if he, my sovereignty is compromised, where am I going to be president? Eh? Where am I going to be president? I must protect it now. That's why I'm talking. I must protect it now. So I will not sober down. I will not turn down as long as, as long as Vaaka in the is doing wrong things. I will not sober down. I will talk. If you want, come and arrest me. But you know, these arrests at the end of the day, they will cost you. They will cost you. Eh? Already I was there and human rights are talking. The other time I came, Niva Nandani, Niva IMF were calling me. Eh? And you are looking for money for I from IMF. These things, the IMF, they will use these very things to say, uh -uh, your human rights is not good. Your record is not good. Remember, this loan that you, have, that you have signed for is conditional. It's based on you delivering on certain things. If you don't deliver, you know, those benchmarks, you won't get that money. And at the rate at which you are going, your human rights record is going down. You will end up lose this IMF. You don't even have plan B. If you lose IMF, because because of Tayari, Mukalu Shirepo IMF. 
what happened there, people were seeing. The world saw it. That IP, that Piri, the journalist, he was caught by CNN. He was talking to CNN yesterday. He was talking to CNN. And you know, you don't realize. And those police officers, they can't realize. They don't know. They didn't even. I mean, how do you touch a journalist? How do you touch a journalist? Eh? You, you, you haven't seen how journalists are, are protected. You haven't learned. Eh? Journalists are highly protected throughout the world. That IP may be small, you might look at him, but that is a senior journalist. That is a senior journalist. You touch that guy, you are touching fire. But of course, what do you expect when you have people at police commission? Eh? 2033. What do you expect? Promoted based on tribe. Oh. What do you expect? Promoted based on tribe. There are some young people who can be in those offices and they can do much better than that man. Hmm? That man, do you know me? Do you know me? Eh? Where is Makebi Zulu? Eh? Agona a charming kononu. He couldn't even tell Makebi Zulu is snoring. Uh. <laughs> so my talking is not because of Haka Inde Ichilema. I hate Haka Inde Ichilema. No, Mwirambe Pesha. I've got nothing to do with the personality of Haka Inde Ichilema. I've got nothing to do with it. Nothing. There is nothing personal between me and Haka Inde Ichilema. There is nothing. I'm talking about him as a president. And right now, he's messing up. He's messing up by taking those foreigners in there. Or because he wants to fix Ed Galungu. The best that you should do with Ed Galungu is to leave him in peace. Is to leave him in peace. Just leave that man. Just leave that man. If you don't want to respect him, forget about him. Just forget that he exists. It's okay. You don't even have to force yourself. Birthday, whatever. Best wishes on your page. When you know that, I mean, you are, you are, you are scheming something against this man. You don't do that. That's why I said you are hypocrites. So you can, if you want, you can forget about it. But the best that you can do, look at Ruto. Ruto is respecting uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. Look at what he's doing there. Learn from, uh, from, from, from Ruto. Give that man the respect. And people will love you for it. Give him the respect. Give him the office. Give him the vehicles. Give him the staff. Establish his office as, you know, the sixth president. And just give him that respect. You gain more. Zambians are peaceful people. Zambians are loving people. They don't like it when you are brutalizing others. If you don't know, even me, some of them, they didn't like me. But thanks to you, because of your brutality, now other people love me. Now other people love me because of your brutality. They love me. Thanks to you. Other people didn't like me. Other people didn't even pay attention to me. They were just thinking, ah, nika joker, nika joker, ah, nika political comedian. Now they are looking, hey, hey this guy, ah, eh? Even those who used to think that, yo, njikara muko mpavu ndimuli koloboy. Now they have seen that, oh, na nikwata na CCTV. Na bamba noku ntina nombu. Na bamba, hey, waka poko la two hours, na weka la febale mulorela. They have seen. They have given me respect, thanks to you. Thanks to you. But this is not the way it should be. It's, this is not the way it should be. It shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that. Respect people, especially a person like former president. Concentrate on things that people want. We are talking about Tulelanda. There is no fertilizer. Eh? Tulelanda is no fertilizer. You think people will, will put fertilizer, the prosecution of Ed Galungu, into their into their into their into their their, their, their crops. Eh? Is that what you turn into fertilizer? The day that you arrest Ed Galungu, all the farmers, their fields will be green. 
with the healthy crops because Ed Galungu you have arrested him. Because you have arrested Ed Galungu, you think the young people will have money in their pockets. Oh, because Ed Galungu is, is arrested, you think the youths will have jobs out of that. What is it going to do to this country? What good is it going to be if you arrest that man? You think you can sustain the lie? You can sustain it for one day. Yes, people will be excited. Oh, Ed Galungu, what, 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 what? But you know, before they know it, they will start asking, so what? What is this benefiting us? And you can work up zero, I'm done. Palasta, I'm to a mimi, and Gavami Minatio, Tayadi, seditious. You are being seditious. I'm not being seditious. It's you who is being seditious. By running this country poorly, you are being seditious. Baaka in the HNM, I can tell you, you don't even need to arrest me. You don't even need to arrest me. You don't even need to charge me anything if you are delivering. People will not come to watch what I'm talking about. They will not be watching. They will not be wasting our bundles. They will not be wasting our bundles. In the Shishupa, they will not be buying bundles to come and watch me talk. If you are delivering, they will not. But look, upon the water and the water, it's, I think in one hour now, they are still here watching. Because you are not delivering Dala. You are not satisfying them. Eh? Chimone ilia kwa matha, ilia kwa matha, ilia ilia chitika. Nga taufi kile pota ule, fika pota ule, fika pota ule. Bambi kukua fwa. Eh, ifiwa haka inde ichi, nima ture miyafo kupeka. Na mufiwa mule firwa. So nomba wa mtuwale isa kuli ifono mbo wale tamba. Isa jia kwa tuwale tamba imwe. You are failing. When you see this Vahaka in the HLM, I'm telling you, it means you are failing. This is the evidence. The fact that people at 20 hours are able to come and watch Uyogumbiare that I'm watching from Tanzania. Instead, Ale Ale Tambatele Mundo Yaku Tanzania is watching me because Vahaka in the HLM na mufirwa. You don't need to arrest us. You don't need to arrest us. You don't. You just have to do the right thing. Deliver. You fake lies there, yo. Deliver. Let people receive these things. Let them receive. If you have got a challenge, tell the people the truth. Tell the people the truth. Not mwamokula wawepa. No, fake lies are, hey, you receive by the end of this week. By the end of this week, that minister was making statements two weeks ago. Up to today, they haven't received no, we are still giving enough fertilizer and yet I want to move a pillar. Fertilizer, yeah, Pimish. You are giving fertilizer, Mulituma may die. Yeah, Pimish, Tuma, Tuma, packets, Emma And you are lying to say, no, no, we are giving them eh, six bags. And yet you are giving fertilizer, Mumbale, Emma Muleva Pera. If you have got problems, tell people the truth. That is leadership. No, you will feel. My country will feel. My country will feel. If you wake up, wake up, Dara. Chava Shani. Trande kwati yo mwikaten. Ah, we. That is not how we rule a country. That is not how we rule a country. I'm not yet ready, but certainly, even if I were to be there, I wouldn't rule like you. I would do much better. I would do much better. Hmm? Our young people, they have got nothing to do. Vale children in Salavite. Ama prisons na yesula. Our prisons are full. Ama cells, they are full. Go and check what are the crimes which are filling up our youths, you know, in these prisons. Go and check. 30 cases. 20 kwacha. Bags of cement. I had, them, I had that boy. Two bags of cement. How much is two bags of cement? It's just about 300 kwacha. 300 kwacha. But the boy is rotting, is there 10 days because of two bags of cement. The other boy, I mean, he couldn't pay rent. 150. He ended up going to steal Ama Bagla Baz Paveli. Worth how much? 120. And I found him. He was there. How many days? Seven days. 
These are the cases I am Muma sales. Thank you, Jack Mwimbu. Jack Mwimbu, nde kutasha. Jack Mwimbu, nde kutasha. At least you have closed the ka Kamwala. Jack Mwimbu, thank you for closing Kamwala. Kamwala was a hell. But Jack Mwimbu, you have closed Kamwala. Thank you very much, Jack Mwimbu. I know some people didn't understand when I said I want to send a hundred quarter to Jack Mwimbu. They didn't know what I was talking about. What I meant is, I was happy that Jack Mwimbu has closed Kamwala remand prison. Kamwala remand prison has been closed. It was hell. And you remember when I came out, I was, I was here talking about it. I was here talking about it. I complained bitterly on Kamwala remand prison. So I'm so happy to hear that, not to hear actually, to see that it is closed. And the prisoners were taken to, to Mwembeshi. And whilst I was there, I met with some two guys who came from there. I'm an IPs who were going. And they told me, life there is okay. They are sleeping well. The yards is good. Sanitation is good. Whatever, whatever. Mushaba Jack Mwimbu, which never took Even if I'm mad. Am I going, how, how can I go in? How can I say bad things about Jack Mwimbu? I can't say Jack and something bad. And I'm, and I'm praising Jack Mwimbu because... I know this is within the minister. This is within the minister. These are some of the strides that ministers, you know, work on. And that's why I'm praising Jack Mwimbu. But when it comes to Yui, I cannot blame Jack Mwimbu. When it comes to Yui, I cannot blame Jack Mwimbu because Jack Mwimbu does not control Yui. Yui is controlled by, by, by the president. The police are under the president. Is the chief who is the commander in chief. So I cannot talk about Jack Mwimbu. So don't don't get it wrong. I can't talk about Jack Mwimbu when Yui is beating me. I can't. Yui is not controlled by Jack Mwimbu. But Jack Mwimbu sets out policy on prisons and whatever, whatever. And that's why I'm saying thank you for closing Kamala. Thank you for closing Mon Kamala. And Jack Wimbu, you know, that, that's why I didn't because, you know, he, he scores in, in his own way. I know he's not the best. I know some of you complain that no, he, he hasn't done much from in his constituency. But he really, as a minister, he scores in his own way. And he knows what he's doing. And this is what experience does. Because Jack Wimbu has got experience. But I can't get him the experience. That's why we're honor with the thing. I think we need somebody who is experienced. That is the issue. So, but Jack Mwimbu, thank you very much for closing Kamwala. Thank you. Now, the issue where we have, which we need to look at, which, why I'm even talking about Baka in the is that Ama prisons na Yesula, we have got a lot of young people who are in prison for petty, for petty issues. Petty, petty issues. Petty issues. Can we see how we can empower these youths can we find them something to do? If we don't find them something to do, they will continue stealing. Kutuma, side mirrors, ama taela, you know, clothes, simple, simple things. And when they go in, when they go muscles, baka pokola, they are not releasing them. They are not releasing them. Because senior police officers who are supposed to supervise the junior police officers are busy chasing politicians. You see? You see the inefficiency? Our cells are full. Go to any cell. They are full. With youths on petty issues. Police officers are not being professional. They are not releasing them. They are not releasing them. Why? Because the senior police officers, they are busy chasing police officers. They are busy chasing politicians like Savoy, Chirifatayari, Sean Tembo, Kambuidi. They are busy chasing these people. Instead of supervising junior officers, Icharo na chisasa, na chisasa, baka hinde ichirema, please wake up. Please wake up. Deliver on your promises. Deliver on your promises. You promise these young people jobs. You promise these young people a empowerment. Look at Black Mountain. You are saying you have empowered people at Black Mountain? 
I was in Kitwe. And people are complaining. They are saying, no, they don't know who is eating the money at the Black Mountain. And the youths who used to be at Black Mountain, but in my sales. That is the situation. Why youth you are never about Black Mountain, but in my sales right now. Because there is no empowerment there. There is no empowerment. Your promise is fake. It's a lie. Your promises are lies. And as long as you don't fulfill on those promises, I'll be here talking. As long as I'm alive, I will come here I'll talk. But I'll come here and talk. I'll come here and talk. This is my country. I have to do what I have to do for my country. And I'm ready to die for my country. I'm ready to die for my country. Fulfill those promises. You will not see me talking against you. It's not personal. Uh -uh. It's not personal. I'm going to die for my country. I'm going to die for my country. So, it's, not, it's nothing. It's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. So all of you, ah no, stop. Hey, whatever. So bad down. Ah, and a papata. It's not personal. As long as wrong things are continue happening in this country, I'll keep talking. I'll keep talking. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep talking. I think I've made my points for tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching. My message in brief is simply to say. I am not fighting Waka in the Ichirema. Waka in the Ichirema need to stop bitterness whereby he's targeting individuals to absorb his failures. He need to stop that. He need to stop following Ed Galungu. I mean, that man is gone. That man is gone. If there is something to follow. Not Ed Galungu. Mulekeni umu Mulekeni ayikadile. We will not bring fertilizer. We will not bring. We will not bring empowerment. We will not bring jobs. We will not bring money in people's pockets. It will not. Stop it. Stop exposing our country to foreigners. Everything foreigners, everything foreigners. You have even brought foreigners into our defense to audit our defense. Stop it. It's treasonous. Stop it. Fulfill on the promises that you made to people. And if you do this, I promise you, I'll be one of the praise singers. Praising you, Waka in the for leading this country properly. Because me, I'm a reasonable person, objective person. I'm not like these cadres. Aba mirepa. Ine mire fishing. Kwa fertilizer tamula chita deliver. Aba ichi valero renchito. Empowerment. Black Mountain. Mufi patala tamuli miti na Sylvia Masebo wenu. Sylvia Masebo. The West Minister we have. Tamuli miti mufi patala. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.